Morning folks, well today um, I thought I would uh, try and convey why it is that I left South Africa. Um, <clears throat> really I think there's uh, a large percentage of it is personal um, in terms of you know personal businesses that I invested into, um, why they didn't work, um, part of it was um, probably not making the right decisions, not dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Um, so, I mean, that's a, a whole story on its own. But besides that, I mean, South Africa is one of the most beautiful places to live in, in the world without doubt. I mean, we are blessed with such amazing weather. Um, you know, we are fortunate enough to have um, ladies who come in and do all our washing and ironing for us on a, on a daily basis and uh, they contribute about 7% of the total economy of South Africa um, is paid to these people okay, who do this on a regular basis and um, that is obviously more and more difficult to find in Europe and obviously very expensive in Europe so you know these are the little things that one tends to take for granted um, but all in all, it's, it's a fantastic country. I mean, climatic-wise, scenery-wise, if you like the outdoors, um, there are very few countries that can touch it. But unfortunately, we have the issue of politics. And, um, you know, as everyone knows about Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela spent most of his life in a prison cell, was the first elected um, black president into South Africa and you know effectively our president at the moment Jacob Zuma um, he has single-handedly destroyed the ANC and everything that Nelson Mandela and his um, compatriots worked at creating has been totally destroyed by one man's greed um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this but uh, the majority of the ANC are a black culture called the Kosa and Jacob Zuma is a Zulu okay and that was strategic at the time for the ANC because he had a very very big uh, uneducated following in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa so they elected him into power and since then I mean poor Nelson Mandela would be turning in his grave because um, a party that used to have probably 70% voting majority now recently has battled to get as much as 55% and um, they, even the old stalwarts of the ANC are now putting out a plea and saying listen it's time for Jacob Zuma to you know stop cocking everything up as it were and um, unfortunately he has a man who wants to institute, um, um, he wants to institute a new energy, uh, nuclear energy into South Africa at the cost of a supposed one trillion rand, okay. Um, we all know that these politicians can't get the numbers right, so what is one trillion is more than likely going to become two or three trillion, which would t completely cripple South Africa and uh, no one would ever invest in South Africa, it's just... The, the debt would be too monumental. So, um, unfortunately, this is what we have. We also have a country there that, um, uh, as we know, went through a period of time uh, dealing with apartheid. Um, that apartheid has pretty much gone 180 degrees now. So, if you are a white male South African in South Africa, who's not fortunate enough to have enough resources in terms of money, to be an entrepreneur and to have your own business, well, you're bottom of the food chain, you know. Um, all the opportunities and all the wants and desires of the country are that companies invest in previously disadvantaged people. So, um, again, depending where you are and what situation you are in, in your life, um, that determines your future to a large degree because um, you know, there's a hell of a lot of corruption in South Africa and um, I just don't see that in the next 10 years 
okay, which by then I'll be approaching 60, um, we're going to see much changes or much opportunity, okay. Um, so, all in all, those are the decisions that I made as to why I wanted to leave South Africa. And, uh, yeah, as I said in my previous video, I've got a meeting on Monday, and it's just defying for me, really, to appreciate and understand what kind of assistance they afford here in a first world country like Belgium. Um, you know, they look after their own, they help you get on your feet. Um, I've yet to discover all of that, and obviously I'll share more of that with you. But, um, yeah, right now I'm blown away. I think it's a fantastic decision I've taken, and um, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, building a new life for myself here in Belgium. Right folks, all the best and uh, I'll chat to you soon.